Good morning, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Barham Engines. So you're probably wondering why I'm doing another video on a Thursday. Probably completely thrown you, seem to be doing one every day, but the reason is, I've come back after Christmas, feel quite enthusiastic, got quite a lot going on in the workshop, and I just want to make videos. So, sorry guys, if it's buggered your week up and the routine in watching our videos, but um, maybe next week we will just go back to normal. But this week, just want to chuck a few videos at you. So, enjoy. Right, so we've set this cylinder head up here. We've got to put new valve seat inserts in. I think the reason is, is because these seats here have become a bit pocketed. So the valves have et into the seat. And obviously because of this quite steep angle of the combustion chamber, um, by the time we've cut those seats, they're going to be nice and buried down the hole. So the customer wants new ones put in. Um, now, when we normally put valve seat inserts in, what we do is we sort of remove the old ones and we order a seat insert very slightly bigger than the old or the existing hole that's left. But on this occasion, these are the exact inserts that are in this head already. So these are probably an original item. Um, now, the only problem is with that, we've got to make sure that we don't cut outside the outside diameter of these inserts. Otherwise, the hole's going to be too big. So you can see here, I've removed these exhaust seats. Now, what we have to do is we've got to set the tool which is down here. And we have to set that tool, probably leaving about quarter of a half a mil to quarter of a mil in of the old insert. Then what you find is by the time you, by the time you machine down and get to the bottom of that insert, there will be, as you can see on here, there's a slight sort of radius down the bottom there. And by the time you break into that radius, you find that the bottom will just peel out. And then what you've left in with is the side. Sometimes it just peels straight out. Otherwise, other times you have to get like a little nail down the side there and just break it and then peel that outside out. But we must make sure that we don't break through to the outside diameter and start cutting the aluminium. So we'll start machining down there. You see I've set that now. That's probably left about half a mil in, quarter of a mil, something like that. Uh, so we'll start machining down and uh, see how much see how much is left. You can't leave too much of it in when you machine it out because if it's too thick, the material that's left in of the old insert, um, it's hard to sort of break down one side and you end up, what you do is when you drive a nail down there, you end up going into the aluminium and leaving like a bit of a score in there. So we'll uh, just machine down now and see, um, and see if that one peels out. First we put our magnet on to make sure that's fixed to this bed. We press the button there and you can see the head center in itself now. And once it's found its center, there's a light that comes on up there, so you just lock that head off, and that is now fixed in that center position. And what we do, is just start driving the tool and winding it down slowly. There we go, you see that insert has started spinning now. So we wind the tool out. Take off the head. And you can see that insert has, has peeled itself out. And that's absolutely cock on there. You can see on this one, and the same with this one here, that it hasn't, the insert hasn't peeled out. Now the reason it's probably peeled out of this one is sometimes when you put in guides, or new guides, they never, they don't go in exactly as the old ones were. So if they're very, very slightly off, or if the insert's been put off, put in off center from standard, then it's just gonna cut very slightly over to one side. So that's what it's done here, and it's just peeled it out, because it's gone very thin, it's just peeled out when I've cut it. But these two haven't, so I'll have to, um, what I'll have to do is set up a, just put a screwdriver down the end and just peel that out. You can see where I face down the bottom. So there we go. 
go. Just gone down the edge, broke it out, haven't gone into the aluminium. Jobs are good. Right, as you can see guys, I've got one valve seat insert in on the inlet side. Well, I've actually got two in. Uh, we've left this one for a second just to show you how we do it. So what we do, first of all, is we take this product here, which is a, a seal lock fluid weld. And as you can see down the bottom there, it says, retains and cools valve seat inserts. Um, so we put that in there. Now, usually, as I say, we normally run a five or six thou interference on these valve seat inserts. Um, so first of all, what we do is we take this product and we just smear it on the inside before the seat insert goes in. And this is just a, a retaining compound, really. So then we get a valve seat insert. And you see it's got this particular insert has got the taper up the top, which we use as sort of, and then we cut the 45 into that. Um, so it goes in that way around. And then what we do is we always, we've got a selection of gudgeon pins um, that we use to put these in. So this gudgeon pin here is a perfect perfect diameter to that insert and then we just hit it in I'm using the copper mallet here um, we just hit it in until it bottoms out on that bottom face and you you can you can tell two ways you can tell it's bottomed out on the on in the head uh, one it feels very solid when you're hitting it all the way around and two that fluid weld will start to come out all the way around consistently then you wipe that around wipe that away and you can see there you have a look around, make sure there's no gaps and make sure that that insert is sitting down in its home position. So we'll just tap this one in. So that went in nice and solid and you can see down the base there where the flat fluid weld has started to come out all the way around. So now we know that that is in its home position. Right then guys, as you can see, I've got all the exhaust finished, inlets are not started yet. Um, the angle on the inside of the inlet insert is, was already there. Um, as you can see, they're sitting about two proud, two mil proud. Um, so, first of all, what we do, as you can see on the exhaust, we, I normally top the outside until you're just showing a little bit of aluminium on the outer side. Um, and then you know that these inserts are just below the surface um, and that ensures that when you reface the head afterwards you're not digging into the steel seat. There is a little bit of aluminium there for you to skim. Then what we've done, using our method of putting the valve in this and setting this tip to the very outside of the valve angle, like there, and then setting that point to the very outside of the 45 degree angle on this one and a half mil three face cutter. We ensure that when we cut the seat, we cut it down until you can just see about a millimeter of the outside angle. And then you know you've got the perfect depth. So if we put that in now, you can see that is at absolute perfect height. The inserts just level with the surface. Um, so that's absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do now is we're going to turn the head round. We're going to face these inserts to the same as the exhaust, just below the surface of the head. And then we're going to set the cutter up um, and do the one and a half mil three face cutter on the inlets. And then this head is complete, apart from the reface. So there we go. We've got the Lotus head on the mill now just machining it. I'm not, going to, um, I'm not going to put my fingers anywhere near the cutter, so don't worry guys, I'm not going to point at anything. But as you can see, we've got three faces cut into both inlet and exhaust seats. And there's the outside of the seat is sitting just below the surface of the head. So now we're facing it. What tends to happen if the insert is flush with the head is when the cutter goes over the insert, it puts a sort of a mark standing back it puts a mark 
sort of around the aluminium on that area of the head. So this is cutting absolutely perfect. So hopefully this is it's only going to take one three thou cut to, to clean this. And that's all and that's all done guys. Put the we put the new valves in the head, they all vacuum perfect. So another head finished. Job to good one. And there we go guys, you see the head has cleaned up at three thou. All the valves are in now, they all vacuum absolutely lovely. So hopefully that's one happy customer and another job done. Well thanks ever so much for watching guys. Until tomorrow's video, like, subscribe and uh, we'll see you then. Cheers guys. Mm -hmm.